All right, good work. You made it to number seven, which is the cool text effects. So go ahead into the class folder, cool text effect, and then open up the template I gave you. Now we're going to do two quick activities. I suggest you watch the first one and then give it a try. Pause the video, give it a try, and then come back, watch the, the second one. So uh, we're basically going to be learning the uh, blend tool for this. So uh, first, go ahead to the top one uh, and go ahead and type yourself a cool word. Obviously, this is a super cool word. Go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Um, go ahead and change the color. So I'm going to change from that to like you know, red, whatever. Sweet. Um, yeah, let's see how this looks. So what I want you to do is I want you to make a copy. So Command C, Command V. Uh, I'm going to put the copy above. I'm going to make it smaller. So I'm going to hold down shift. I'm also holding down option, but at the very least, hold down shift. And I'm going to double click and change the color to something else. No, I'm do, ugh, these are ugh, all right, whatever. It's yellow. So I've made two shapes. Um, now, the big one I made first, and then I copied, which means that technically this is on top. Um, what I would like to do is change that. So I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to bring that to the front. So now that's on top. I'm going to get my uh, blending tool. This is my blending tool. It's, it's right down here. Um, I guess it's the letter W. It, it kind of looks like three different shapes on top of each other. What you're going to do is you're going to click on your first thing, the big text box. Looks like nothing happened. It did. Click on your smaller text box and you're going to see this blending start to happen. So the way the blend tool works is it, it takes whatever the shape is and whatever the color it is, and it will make steps that will slowly transition or quickly transition to those, uh, to whatever you're connecting it to. Now I'm going to come back to the blend tool. I'm going to double click on it so I can see my options, make sure preview is turned on. And I'm going to change it. I think the default is smooth color. Um, I'm going to do specified steps and I'm going to pick a random number and see what 20 looks like. And if you turn preview on and off, you'll, you'll see what that does. Uh, what, I don't know, let's try 60 steps. Turn preview on and off. And that looks kind of neat. I can hit OK. I can always kind of tweak it. Now I've got one line here that represents my text, the large text. I got one here that represents my small text. And then I have this straight line that represents the blend. Now, if I get my white arrow, click off, I know the anchor was somewhere here. There it is. I can actually move it to where I want. And now I go, ah, you know what? The text box, I kind of want to change that text to a different font. See what that does. Uh, let's do something kind of curly like that. And that's going to change the blend as well, because it's still blending to that non-flourishy effect. You know what? It's fine, but I want to change some more stuff. So I'm going to actually add a stroke to it. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I regret that, <laughs> but just know that is possible um, if you want. Go ahead and uh, pause the video and see if you can create an effect that looks like that. All right, you're back. Nice work. So the second activity is going to build on that and just show you uh, something, something else. Oh, crap. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this circle and we're gonna we're gonna cut it up with our knife tool so come on over to the uh, eraser and there's the knife you already know the knife from our typography and let's uh let's make some something like that now this is important when you're done knifing through the shape you want to arrange and bring that to the front then let's think these are three different text boxes let's think of uh three little words are saying. So I'm going to say, I, you can write whatever you want. Um, so awesome. Good for me. All right. So what do we do? We use the knife tool to cut through. Um, we selected it and all of it, right? Cause now it's three parts and you made sure that you brought that to the front. We're going to click on this top half. We're going to hold down shift. We're going to click on our first word. And we're going to do command, option, and the letter C. Let's do the next one. We're going to click on that middle shape, hold down shift, command, option, C. And then I'm going to get the last shape, hold down shift, command, option, C. So I've kind of created this, this neat little, uh, little 